File request granted. Document version for your eyes only. Your request has been logged. Item number SCP-3393. Object class Euclid. Description. Because of your ability to access this file and read this sentence, you are SCP-3393. There exists only three other individuals who can access this file, and memetic agents embedded in this document would display alternative texts for these people. Very little is known about you, due to your primary anomalous property. All information regarding you is unable to be viewed or remembered soon after it is created. This includes your appearance, past records, and other information. The only known way to counteract this effect is through the use of a powerful monastic drug that has been distributed to the director of the Foundation's Antimimetics Division, O5 and researcher You have attained level 4 security credentials. Attempts to remove this clearance from your account have failed, as the account itself cannot be located. It is unclear if this is a consequence of your antimimetic properties or a separate anomalous property. Despite your antimimetic nature, the Foundation has been able to hypothesize a number of your properties. Below is a list of all properties that have a 90% or higher confidence rating. Property. You are a corporeal entity. Evidence. Personnel reported doors opening as well as equipment being moved on their own. Property. You are attracted to information about yourself. Evidence. You are currently reading this document. Other files regarding you have been accessed without authorization as well. Property. You seek out information about yourself in order to either delete it or make changes to it. Evidence. This file has undergone a number of unauthorized modifications and deletions. See Addendum SCP-3393-1. Property. Your antimimetic properties can be transferred. Evidence. Researchers at Site-31 reported that files had gone missing from the database. An investigation led by researcher <laughs> revealed that this was not the case. The files had not been deleted or moved. Database metadata showed that you were the last person to access these files. Property. You have a strong resistance to memetic agents. Evidence. Attempts to utilize memetics against you have failed. See Addendum SCP-3393-2. Property. You are confined to Site-31. Evidence. Phenomena that can be attributed to you have only occurred in Site-31, and have occurred recently. It is also corroborated by the fact that all attempts to access this file have come from Site-31. Property. You are Dr. Mackey or the results of Dr. Mackey's research. Evidence. See Discovery Log. Discovery Log. You were first discovered on April 13th, 2018, when records regarding Dr. Mackey were discovered by Site-31 personnel, although none remembered any such Dr. Mackey having worked at Site-31. It is currently believed that whatever event created you occurred on April 12th, 2018, and resulted in the loss of all memory regarding Dr. Mackey and their research. It is currently unknown where these experiments took place, and any information regarding the experiments has been destroyed, most likely by you. Addendum SCP-3393-1 Below is one of the modified versions of this file that you produced. Item number, SCP-3393. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Don't worry, I can handle this. Description. I wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to exist. At least not like this. But let me deal with it. This thing that I am is best kept away from all of you. Don't try to analyze me or test me, or whatever. I don't want any of you to catch what I have. Just call me self-containing, and we'll be good. Addendum SCP-3393-2. Below is a list of attempts to contain you. Operation Name, Site-31 Sweep. Description, Site-31 was evacuated while Mobile Task Force Ada-10, codename See No Evil, entered the facility in an attempt to locate you. Notes. It was determined that your inability to be perceived is not simply a cognitohazardous attribute. It is still unknown how you were able to evade Ada-10. However, it is hypothesized that you may have used undocumented areas of Site-31. A secondary search for such locations is still underway. Result. Failure. Operation Name. Memetic Incapacitation. Description. Memetic agents were embedded in files detailing information about you that should immobilize sentient corporeal entities. Notes. After the file was accessed, the memetic agent was activated. This implies that you are an entity susceptible to memetic attacks. 
The file remained open for 10 minutes before it was deleted, which has sufficed as evidence for your memetic resistance. Subsequent sweeps of the facility did not locate you. Result. Failure. Operation name. Bait the hook. Description. See special containment procedures. Notes. Pending. Result. Pending. It is believed that previous failures to contain you can be attributed to a breach of intelligence. During post-operation reviews, it was discovered that details for Site 31 sweep and memetic incapacitation have been accessed by you before their execution. How you managed to consistently find and access these files is still under investigation. Special Containment Procedures The following procedures documented here are for the benefit of the Director of the Foundation's Anti-Memetics Division, O5 and Researcher Mobile Task Force 8 to 10 personnel are to be positioned around Site 31 under the guise of normal Site 31 researchers. Access to this file is to be restricted to five selected terminals at Site 31. Should this file be accessed without notice 72 hours in advance, 8 to 10 personnel are to block off all physical entrances to the room containing the terminal accessing this file. This room is to be quarantined and repurposed as your containment cell. These containment procedures are to be written at the end of your file, as to give 8 to 10 personnel ample time to contain you before you understand what has transpired, thus reducing the possibility of your escape. This concludes this broadcast. Before your internet connection is severed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Site42 using your Foundation encrypted YouTube account. And if you really enjoyed the show, become a patron at patreon.com site42. Thank you.